Gravastar Mars Pro Review The Gravastar Mars Pro speaker has a unique futuristic design and is manufactured by the same company as its sister product, the Gravastar Sirius Pro headphones. It comes without any extra features but offers good sound quality with a strong emphasis on bass. However, this is one device that you might want to consider if you're a big fan of futuristic cyberpunk design. Even though the aesthetics could be perfect for you, this device is worth considering because of its solid construction and impressive sound quality, but the price might turn you off. The first thing you'll see about this voice is how it sounds. It doesn't sound like any other voice heard before. It's not robotic, nor does it sound human. It's unique, and it's definitely worth listening to. Overall, the speaker weighs 2.5 pounds and has an adjustable height range from 25 centimeters up to 50 centimeters. It comes with a tripod base for stability. The metal rear of this speaker has a mesh design which is accentuated by the RGB lights. It's nice that the space aesthetic is continued throughout the entire Mars Pro look. The USB-C port is located at the base of the speaker, so you can charge it while listening. It has a good look, but some people really don't like his appearance. The speakers come with support for Bluetooth 5.0, and they've been tested to ensure no signal loss or cutouts occur. They're also pretty easy to use, so you shouldn't encounter any issues. As already said, this speaker comes with six colors to choose from. They're not really customizable, so you'll either love them or hate them. Personally, they add a lot to the aesthetics of the device, but if you'd rather just stick with black, white, silver, gold, or copper, then you can do that too. The RGB lighting is quite subtle, so it didn't overpower the speaker's sound quality. Like most of these speakers, the presence of the RGB light serves a function beyond just looking good. One of Mars' most prominent features is the touch-controlled volume bar. It works well and prefers this method over the buttons elsewhere. Despite its niche design, the Mars Pro delivers a balanced and warm sound that works well with most types of music. However, if you play too loud, some songs may start to sound muddy. The speakers were able to produce clear, loud sounds that retain details well. They were also able to reproduce music from different genres without any distortion. The first part of the song and the lyrics were really well done, but the singer did sound a bit harsh when singing the softer notes. On the other hand, as the chorus kicks in and the drums start up, the song becomes more muddled, it's difficult to separate the instruments from the singers. When the speakers play at louder volumes, however, this problem is less noticeable. Distortion is evident throughout the entire track. On top of that, depending on the track type, the Mars Pro can lose a lot of details and depth when singing softly. However, this was not noticeable in tracks with softer vocals, such as Flowers on the Freeway by Cody Lervis. With Lervis' song, the Mars Pro delivered a better sound stage than the previous version, which was distinct but lacked warmth. It sounded warmer and more dynamic.